Welcome to The Health Code. This is our podcast where we chat about all things health, fitness, career, relationships, and lifestyle. It's kind of like your weekly catch up with the girls. <clears throat> oh, and the boys. Yeah, the boys. Uh, first of all, did you guys not get the memo? It's on Wednesdays we wear, we wear pink. Even it's not it's Wednesday, Friday. it's Friday. I know, but like, it just makes the whole vibe so much brighter. I don't agree. I mean, look at us. We're, we're in, we're we're in black. black. This we're is looking my, good. This is my sweat <laughs> outfit. This is when I'm high pressure under the pump on the, yeah. the health I like code. It. You yeah. can't see no sweat patches. I, I've I got vomit on my shoulder from, from Vox, so <laughs> yeah, we're all good here. Yeah. Welcome back to the Health Code Podcast. I'm so excited about today's podcast because we're here with Caleb, the CEO and co-founder of Tropeka. You guys know I've been working with Tropeka for, I always butcher this, is it th- four, four, three? You always do an extra year. I know, always. three years? We started 2016. I reached out to you 2016. Oh my god, four years! You you four years. you went the opposite way. And you I, I, I was trying to it. be I was trying to be like humble, but four years. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> crazy. So, good. the reason I'm excited for today's podcast is because whenever I call you, whenever we're talking about anything, we our conversation goes for like two hours. Oh, I could talk to you all day because we're talking about like. A product we're talking about protein and then we derail onto like that weird mattress that you lay on one thing you guys need to know if you're listening right now if you love crazy health hacks or this cool word right now biohacking which caleb will definitely explain then you're going to love this podcast like caleb is the 101 health freak in the best kind of way. Yeah, I feel like I always learn something every time I chat to you on the phone. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had a, a good half an hour session yeah. yesterday, actually, yeah. Kurt. I, I loved it. We're, we're slowly bringing him across. Yeah. Not slow. Yeah. <laughs> but like, Shout when, him the way. If, if you ever call my phone, I, I have to tell myself if I pick up, we're going to be on the phone for an hour in the best way in like yeah. I'm about to yeah you fill actually my mentally soul. prepare yourself yeah I'm gonna <laughs> I'm about to become the healthiest version of myself today well you notice I've kind of reworked that and lately I've been like Sarah five minutes all right here we go yeah <laughs> but, well sometimes I go three minutes I know. and I'm like man if I can get it for three then um maybe we can push to five, five. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I'm so you guys know ugh. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with my phone. So Caleb literally messages me saying, hey man, I literally need five minutes. Just five minutes. I'm about to call you. Please pick up. <laughs> yeah, but it's usually like five minutes on like a Sunday, middle of the day or, or a Saturday. It's always on the weekend. That's always- prime time. <laughs> That's when I'm working hard, mate. That's, Come on. <laughs> this is one of my questions actually. Like we'll get into it deeper into the podcast, but I feel like your work-life balance, it, it's not really a thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, balance is an interesting subjective word, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) So I guess to get into it, tell us a bit about yourself and how you came about Tropeka. How did you find this amazing brand? All right, let's go deep. Um, (laughs) Now, look, my my story starts, I suppose, from this perspective in 2011. So I was diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, which is a doctor's polite way of saying, hey, I've got no idea what's wrong with you. Uh, from 2011 to mid 2014, I felt like I'd been hit by a bus every single day. Like, you know, when you have the flu and you just feel out and out, exhausted and smashed. That was me. I had chronic inflammation, brain fog. Um, yeah, just couldn't remember things. Couldn't even run 50 meters without feeling like I'd been hit by a bus. Uh, pain in my joints. Um, what else? Like horrible mental thoughts. Uh, even for a period of time, like suicidal thoughts, my life. And I was a very like strong, fit young guy um, before this and um, always been a sporty person and uh, into my like uh, tennis and uh, I was a long distance runner and a little bit of uh, rugby when I wasn't getting smashed up in my <laughs> earlier years, a skinny guy. And, Were you on uh, the wing? Yeah. <laughs> well, the issue was I should have been on the wing, but I was, I was a fly half. But um, uh, Okay, you had the height advantage there. Yeah, I, I've always been like good with my, my hands in terms of a sport kind of thing that, because I had the tennis background. So anyway... Um, uh, where was I? So yeah, I felt like I'd just been smashed up massively. Question. Uh, yep. During this time, did you get like blood work and your adrenals tested and yep. hormones? Did yep. everything come back normal or? Normal. Yep. So so, we- so a doctor, that, well not a doctor, doctors, um, conventional doctors said, hey, I had chronic fatigue syndrome. And the worst thing about that is the lack of hope because mm-hmm. they're like, hey, I don't mm-hmm. know what's wrong with you. I don't know when you'll be healthy again. And um I don't, um, I don't know how you can get healthy. And I met people who had 
had chronic fatigue at the time. They're like, yeah, I'm 20 years in, good luck. And I'm like, mm. thanks, <laughs> appreciate hearing that. <laughs> and um, and this was 2011, remember? So a lot has, um, I suppose, progressed since then in terms of our understanding of chronic health issues. Anyway, there was something inside me I knew, like, like uh, I, um, I can overcome this, like I can figure this out, we can figure this out. And on top of this, I had chronic anxiety, like horrible anxiety. I even remember for my 21st birthday, a couple of my best friends took me out for dinner and I couldn't even go into the restaurant. It was that bad. Wow. Um, and it, I was a confident young guy before this. Um, so, like, my life had turned 180. And anyway, it led me on a path of, like, self-discovery with my health, um, which led me on to realising, which I had no idea about before this, which was like nutrition could turn my life around and so can lifestyle changes. So were you not really that healthy during this time? You were just kind of like, mm. I guess, quote unquote, a normal person. Yeah, like just normal. normal. Yeah, yeah, normal. Um, like I grew up um, having my mum cooked healthy foods and all that at night time and whatnot. Uh, and I'd have like, but I'd have like my McDonald's and yeah. Coke and all that. Loved Coca Cola. That's what I mean by normal. Like, yeah. there's such a stigma around it, but I feel like most people listening would think normal as like, yeah, your mom cooks like chicken and veg, but when you go mm-hmm. out, you might have some macas. Like, exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. So this led me on to researching uh, through holistic doctors, so functional doctors, which practice functional medicine, which is treating the body as a whole. And I learned that I had destroyed my gut. And I destroyed my gut through long-term antibiotic use. So from the ages of 17 to 21, my doctor had prescribed, my family GP had prescribed me um, antibiotics for my skin, so minamycin. And and then it literally destroyed my gut. I had dysbiosis, which is an imbalance between good and bad bacteria. You can measure that. Um, I had uh, permeability in my gut, which is... uh, Is that leaky gut? That's leaky gut, and you can measure that as well. And... um, yeah, I, um, on top of that, when I got sick, because I felt like I'd been hit by a bus every day and I had flu-like symptoms, um, my doctor also prescribed me antibiotics because of that, yeah. and uh, which is like so ironic mm. and crazy. Like we do that a lot. We treat symptoms, whereas like functional doctors, fa- functional root. medicine, like look at the root cause. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. Was, so this, that- was this a naturopath? I'm just thinking yep. if people are listening to this and they're like, oh my gosh, this is me. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what's this functional doctor? Like we go to naturopaths and yep. acupuncturists. Was yours a naturopath? Yeah, so naturopaths are great. I um, go see a naturopath at the moment still for certain things. Um, functional medicine, I'm a big believer in. Like one book that first changed my life was by Dr. Mark Hyman. He's a functional medicine practitioner out of the States and very famous. Uh, he does really great stuff. And, and there's a range of functional uh, medicine practitioners around the world that understand this. Anyway, um, yeah, felt horrible. And at the same time, funnily enough, my housemate, Blake, who later became my business partner in Tropeka, he... Uh, Shout out to Blake, we miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Blake's... Uh, Blake's P.S. Crit- I'm a bit, I'm a bit like, I'm a bit sour with Blake. <laughs> a bit sour? Well, yeah. tell us now. Yeah. In front because, of the world. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> he didn't want to come on the show. He didn't want to come no. on the podcast today. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll be devil's advocate here. So Caleb and Blake, you're, you guys are both the, the founders, the CEO of Tropeka. One thing you need to know about Blake is he's very soft-spoken. He's like, <laughs> he's a beautiful soul, but like a, a man of very few words. So you, you more so do the talking and Blake's like the undercover little like creative. He is, yes. Yeah. So Blake, um, I'm extremely grateful. Um, Blake's, uh, yeah, so... Uh, has played such a pivotal role in where Tropeka is and does such an amazing job. Like everything you see that looks beautiful in the, the business from the packaging uh, works a lot in terms of the branding and the product design as well and product development, working with our product development teams. And um, yeah, he's a great guy and um, an absolute champion and I'm very grateful for him. Very grateful for just our team in general. We have a, a team close to 30 now and the most incredible employees that are behind our vision of impacting millions of people around the world and uh, it's truly special and something I don't take for granted. So oh. shout out to Blake. Shout and, out um, to Blake. Yeah. So you I'm met, still so sour you met, at you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, I get pissed off at him on the daily. So don't worry, it's all good. No. So you're suffering with all these health issues. Yeah. You yeah. meet Blake. Yeah. So Blake's my housemate, which is hilarious. And Blake's going through his own issues, his own health issues at the time. This is 2011 to 2014. What were you guys eating in this household at this stage? Because I feel like you're both, you're both, you're both struggling. Yeah. You both must have been eating very similar foods. Like, do you think that this was like a combination of that, or 
no. the environment you were living in. Like, yeah, what was the catalyst of yeah. this chronic fatigue? Well, mine was the antibiotic use. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, Blake? Yeah. Um, Blake has had... Um, I don't want to talk too much about Blake's health issues mm. um, because that's personal and yeah. obviously it's going out to hundreds of thousands of people. But <laughs> he's feeling great these days, which is, which is awesome. But yeah. mm-hmm. he went through his own really tough health issues and uh, pretty much it led us on to... Um, going down to the health food store right we my so, favorite place yeah so what i what i should say is it's magical land isn't it <laughs> i go in there thinking i'm gonna buy mag- magnesium and i come out with like slippery elk <laughs> no slippery elm is it elm is that okay. like a creature off Wait, like some one um, thing well that's what it sounds point. like <laughs> elk let, let me put some context like here some, uh, if you guys have been following my personal instagram stories sarah's underscore day I have kind of mentioned Kurt's health issues right now. Mm. So I've put him on this like morning smoothie with slippery elm, elm. in it. Every Sorry. morning he either <laughs> says like slippery elk. It also has diatomaceous earth in it. And he's like, demaceous. Yeah, <laughs> demaceous <laughs> earth. <laughs> anyway, enough about Kurt. But no, this I, is very relevant to what I'm, I guess I'm going through right now. Like I, <laughs> I feel very similar to those symptoms that you were describing earlier. Like some mornings I just get up and, and I'm completely knocked out. So I'm so interested in what you're saying. And yesterday we had a phone conversation about all crazy things. So yeah, continue mm. on. Sorry. Last night I was Googling, <laughs> I was Googling CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome yeah. for like I, two I, hours. I'm convinced CFS that I'm, slash ME. I, I've got that now. I'm, yeah. I'm actually pretty well convinced that that, that may be the catalyst He's, of yeah. all these issues. Even my mum today, when mum saw Kurt, <clears> she was like, he just has no energy anymore. Like, if you I know don't have Kurt, that spark. I, you, I'd fire around and Kurt's I'd be like, like a, a puppy dog. And, you're yeah. like a puppy dog normally. Mm. And right now you're like an old weathered dog. Yeah, that's it. Mm. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Literally, that was my story from going from really healthy to really sick. And uh, anyway, yeah, health food stores are great. Like you go in and you buy um, buy five things and it costs you 500 bucks. But <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Where all my money goes. Blake, Blake and I used to call it the rip-off shop, and then we'd um, <laughs> so and then we'd go to another shop, which was even more expensive. We'd call that the rip-off rip-off shop. <laughs> so it was like, where are you going today, Blake? Oh, the rip-off shop. But um, <laughs> anyway, look, it led us to, um, which was the reason why we started an e-commerce business because we're like, we want to cut out the middleman, the retailer, mm, mm. and be able to provide an affordable certified organic product to people um, at a price like a twenty-one-year-old can afford. Yeah. Anyway, we'd, we're at the health food stores, so rewind i i did a lot of research and uh, in functional medicine went and saw and listened to the right people and i decided to cut out gluten dairy and sugar and also a little bit uh like le- lectins and a bit of soy and stuff like that um i wasn't eating soy so when i say a little bit of soy i wasn't even eating in the first place but okay. i just cut it all out and my life changed around in three weeks like feeling like I'd been hit by a bus for three and a half years to my life changing around. I think it was even two weeks, but I always say three just because I can't exactly remember. Yeah. Just be I didn't write, yeah. Can you give us like, I, I know you're not, um, your area of expertise isn't lectins, but can mm-hmm. you say maybe like three or five common lectins? Because I've listened to the whole, is it Plant Power podcast? And he talks about that. Yeah, I can't even. Uh, but I re- like, what's a, what's a really popular lectin that people have that they wouldn't realize? Yeah, like so lectins are anti-nutrients. So you can get lectins in a whole range of different foods. Like your typical ones are like your chickpeas and mm. whatnot. Um, I'm not sure if they even call them lectin. Like there's a whole range of kind of anti-nutrients in plants. And it's been a few years since I've actually even bothered to research yeah. it um, because... Once I know something, then I don't need to kind of retain yeah, I'm information. The same. I'm the same. Um, but um, yeah, like there's a range of different, uh, like even goji, like goji berries are high in lectins. So yeah. lectins aren't necessarily bad, but for someone who's um, who's struggling with uh, with their health, then it's a good thing to kind of eliminate out of an elimination diet. Uh, sorry, eliminate within elimination diet. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I cut out dairy, wheat, sugar, all of these inflammatory-based foods, and my life changed around in three weeks. Like, it was the most crazy thing I've ever experienced in my life. Mm. Now, I didn't cure myself in three weeks, but I just removed the inflammatory load off my body because my digestive system was so messed up. My digestive system was so messed up, which meant my immune system was so messed up with dysbiosis and, and permeability in the gut, which allows proteins to get into your bloodstream that causes an inflammatory response because your body sees it as a foreign invader. So 
See, this is why I love our phone chats. You yeah, just I know. You just go on a ramble. <laughs> this, this whole podcast. So true. I'm just like sitting here, like, what? <laughs> this whole podcast is going to be Kurt and I just going. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm, <laughs> um, I'm really sorry if I. I'm, I actually feel like I'm not technical enough, but that's kind of nah. expert syndrome. Where no, you, it's, it's good though because I feel like for, for myself and even Sarah, um, just just the the dulled down version is, is, is good enough for me. The yeah. conversational, yeah. Like, especially for a podcast, like people yeah. are driving, they just want to hear the real the real facts and the real life situation they mm. don't need a doctor to say well ultimately like they yeah. just I don't you know just want to hear real people talking yeah, yeah. <laughs> real Look, people and real issues yeah and my biggest hope in all of this today is not that you think you're going to go and get cured of something because you take the same approach as me mm. everyone is different my hope for you today is that we remove ourselves from this paradigm of of 21st century healthcare where we trust someone to look after our health yeah. one of the best things you can do in your life is take full ownership of your circumstances yeah. and say i'm going to go research i'm going to go educate myself and then also just as importantly it wasn't me it was me going to the experts and finding the right experts and yeah i went to heaps of experts it's you making get- the effort it's i say this yeah. to you every day what do yeah. i say i say no one cares as much, much as, as you me. do yeah exactly in, in not in a negative way but like you can't give up because mm-hmm. the doctor doesn't care as much as you care about yourself. Yeah. So if you want to fix yourself, you need to be persistent and keep going. Yeah. I care as much as you, but you know what I mean? Like but no one cares. Like, even, even going back to what you said about um, chronic fatigue syndrome, and I've been sort of diagnosed with uh, today sort of with like, maybe it's chronic fatigue syndrome, um, vestibular migraines are also there. They're both two things where doctors just go, don't know. whoa, I don't know, like... Yeah. It's and vestibular migraine. How, okay, how do I tr- treat that? Oh, you go on this antidepressant type of drug and, and you take that for a long period of time. And then I go, I don't want to take that. Is there any alternative to that? And they go, mm. no, not really. Like, and they're meant to like give a you a solution area. in a 15-minute consult. Yeah. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Hard. Like you've got to take ownership yourself. And so I didn't, as I said, I didn't cure myself. I took off the inflammatory load. And then it took a few years of actually repairing my digestive Uh, track to actually cure it right Mm -hmm. and like today and i'm still doing that right there's still elements like i still get tested and i've improved massively and i now can go from what was me in absolute fatigue and exhaustion to i work 12 to 15 hours a day and then i train harder than most people Um, as a tennis player even um, even i remember in our first like lunch chat or something we sometimes we go to lunch and we chat about things um in our first conversation dinner thing you were like no i can't have that and i can't have that but now you're like oh i don't have it often but i'll have it today and i'll have it today like you're so much more free in what you order on the Mm. menu yeah so yeah exactly it's um you know the other thing is people don't realize how long it takes to actually heal your gut like especially if you come from a situation of me where you absolutely destroyed it like Mm -hmm. it is a long road back and um but it can be done and uh i suppose yeah, I suppose this is, we kind of shifted direction there. But back to the story, Blake and I, uh, we made these health changes and we also made lifestyle changes. And when I say lifestyle changes, like everything from sleep to, um, for me, like meditation and finding peace and gratitude is a massive one. Um, uh, developing myself in terms of my spiritual life as well, my emotional life, my mental life, my mental side of things. And uh, we realized as we went down to the health food store, once we were, we were getting better and we changed the way we ate, that we were, this is 2014, it was like, we're young guys and there's no young guys here and there's certainly no young, and there's no young women. The only people going into a health food store in 2014, at least where we were from and what we were seeing, was old people and hippies. Mm. <laughs> and we're like, What? All right, someone needs... And me, I was there. That's yeah. my I was doing my YouTube for a year then, so I was in there buying some Yeah, stuff. but you were in the Shire, mate. Like. Yeah, we were from the Hills District. Yeah, that's where, it. Uh, where Represent. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was um, we're like, man, someone needs to make these health foods relatable to young people mm-hmm. like and cool. Fully. Like social media. Like social media is a place where people can express their values. People love to express their values of having a wild Saturday night and cool. You know, that's um, that's part of life. But we realize like people need to feel comfortable about expressing their values of the fact I'm healthy and I'm proud of it and it's cool. Mm. And so we're like, we're going to ta- take health foods, take them from being hippie to making them cool. 
And we're going to also take gym supplements, which were really unhealthy then, and they're still pretty unhealthy, where you got like artificial nasties, artificial sweeteners, like you've got, you know, crappy ingredients, or you might have whey, which like the amount of people that come and take Tropica products because, and they've said to us like, this is amazing. I was taking a whey protein and I no longer feel like absolute crap and mm. bloated after taking it. Um, like, God, I couldn't count how many people uh, within, uh, we've um, been able to like uh, make a positive impact on in that regard. So we are like, okay, we're going to take health, health foods, make them cool and gym supplements that are unhealthy and make them healthy and combine mm-hmm. the two. So we made really like we turned the health food industry on its head and we are cool and healthy and an expression of people's values and um, we have the mission to help millions of people around the world in their health. I'm going to shift gears a little bit, but yeah. into something that lots of the time I, my mom found out you were coming today and she was like, oh my God, I love him because I call her after my calls with you. I'm like, this is what Caleb told me. This is what we need to do. Yeah. yeah. Caleb, I love your mom when she's like, just the, like I even saw your latest, was it your latest post where it's like your yeah. mom like brings the vibes she every does. day. Like, oh, I she love does. That. Yeah. That's inspirational. Honestly, I, I, that's who I want to be. Like, my mum is such a change of topic, but like my mum is <laughs> never like ever grumpy or mad or in a bad mood. So every morning we'd wake up and she's like, morning. And so you have a good day if you ever wake up and she's like, hey, the whole house is somber. So I like, I take that on. I'm like, all right, I'm the matriarch of the household. I create the vibe. <laughs> I wake up, I'm like, morning Woo. happy monday <laughs> so if i'm I wearing like, all pink today <laughs> it's gonna be a good day <laughs> okay but shifting gears back to calling my mom because i've been off the phone to you and i'm like wow life is about to change you got me onto this term called biohacking can you give us a little definition of it of what biohacking means yes i mean biohacking is essentially just like trying out x variable and seeing if it produces y variable in your life like and it could be everything from nutritional changes to lifestyle changes uh having the term biohacking makes it seem like something crazy and there's so many crazy things you can do in terms of biohacking like um like give us an example that you personally do like i feel like people are still like what the heck is biohacking i know kurt has no idea (laughs) but it's pretty much like manipulating something or or practicing something that benefits your life in a healthy and functional way right yes okay let's start like easy like biohacking is like improving your sleep yeah so an easy one turning off blue lights like two three hours before bed or Mm. when Mm. sunset hits i have like an orange light that i turn on and all the other lights in my house i have a program called iris iris uh, that you can download that turns your screen orange. Do you have yeah. Do you have a, an Apple like a? Yeah, but it, Iris is heats better than that. So oh, I do oh, that. Oh. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay. I'm always like, yeah, I do that. No, 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 you don't. But I but here's try. the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. They're normal, right? Great. What you guys need to know, and what you will soon learn about Mr. Caleb here, <laughs> he takes biohacking and health hacks to the extreme, and I love it. I love it. You're like. You need to start your own little Instagram, not Tropeka, your own little (laughs) Caleb hacks. Because seriously, if I have an issue, I call you and you have a solution or something to try out. Like, tell us about the thing that you sleep on, that mattress you sleep on. Do you still sleep on it? I I do. I do. I'm actually upgrading my... um my sleep environment as we speak but like <laughs> sleep <you>. environment, environment. <laughs> We're such a health nerd yeah. i don't know how i end up doing this podcast without seeming seeming like the biggest weirdo on the planet yeah. so everyone out there please continue buying tropica no matter how much of a weirdo you think i am <laughs> I, okay i'm telling you that it's very helpful having you on speed dial i'm like help me yeah continue. so i mean look i do a lot of things so the great thing about modern medicine and science is they break things down into their um, minor components to really understand things in, in a minute detail because you're affecting the whole population when you come to conclusions, right? So you need to know, uh, is this going to affect this person, this person, with this variable, this variable? You need to know things in the minute. Um, and that's really important in, in conventional modern medicine. With biohacking, it's like, again, like my own... Uh, it's my own body. So it's like, I want to test, does this 
Make me feel thing, better. Make me feel better. I don't care about understanding the minute details. I just want to know if I test this, if I keep all as if I can keep my environment relatively the same and then test one new component and see if it improves my life, then and if it does, then fantastic. And you know the other cool thing is? I don't care if it's placebo. Mm. Yeah. If I'm if I'm if it looking makes you to feel be better, who cares? if I'm looking to feel healthier or achieve an outcome and it does it even through placebo, what a massive win! Hundred percent. I'll take that's, placebo that's like, any day. That's like yeah. coffee for me as a pre workout. Like I've drank coffee for so long now, it doesn't give me a buzz, it doesn't make me awake. It's literally the taste of it in my mouth makes me feel more productive, makes me mm. know that I need 100%. to be focused. Whether it's like because I, I can drink coffee and sit down and work and be like still. Or I can drink it and go and train. It's just that that taste is the is me biohacking that I'm going to have a sick workout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I can agree with that. Can I just say I haven't had coffee in a, in a long time now. Are you proud of me? It's been like a week. That's a really I'm long sorry, time. I'm sorry, this is, this is off topic. No, but. please tell me. <laughs> I don't have coffee. I love coffee and I don't have it. Oh, don't you have it either? No, I mean, I'd the, prefer matcha any day of the week because it's got um, L-theanine in it, um, which I think it's L-theanine. It's one of the amino acids. Yeah, L-theanine, which... Uh, I'm so glad I asked this yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> which um, which uh, doesn't allow the spike in... Um, in uh, it, caffeine doesn't have the same effect as what it normally does when you have that amino acid with it. So mm. uh, matcha teas. So are you weird. don't have the crash. No, exactly. So if you want a great coffee replacement, have matcha. So I have Tropica matcha with the maca powder um, for an energy boost, and it does mm. a pretty badass job. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, so I'm well, sorry. Yeah. I just I should not be totally plugging my products on my, in the, on in my, the pack. Uh, having <laughs> I'm no sorry, coffee God. for a week. All right, mate. All right. <laughs> and how are you feeling? No, tell us. How tell you us. Feel? Uh, I don't know. I feel the same actually. <laughs> 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 it hasn't changed anything. I just love the taste of it, and I don't feel like it actually. I like you know how people are like, oh, you get addicted to coffee. I don't believe in that. Yeah. No, I don't no, think no. That's the truth. I I do, but yeah. I don't think you are or I am because when we mm. go off it, we don't get the detox symptoms. Yeah, it's, I don't get we that. love. Call me him. Oh, we love oh, okay. like the art. We love <laughs> the ritual. We Jealous. Love, <laughs> we love the ritual of waking up, yeah. making our coffee, walking and getting our coffee, drinking our coffee, smelling our coffee, sipping our coffee, and judging our coffee and every morning. Watching Fox play in the mud <laughs> while Always. we drink our coffee. <laughs> but don't you think every morning we go? Oh, what barista was on? Like, was yeah, it a good one? Yeah, we can so judge. true. It's so true. See, I'm going to ruin a, a a really cute moment by oh, talking a little bit more deeply on that. Because <laughs> you're a cute couple, by the way. <laughs> Very cute. Um, me and my girlfriend are cute, but you guys are cute. <laughs> it's um, always a competition uh, with you, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll get to that. Says he always needing to be number one. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just give him number I, one these days. Yes, says he, you're better than that. That's it. I do the same. Don't worry. I feel the pain. I thought I was actually number one. You are number one. You are number one in my life, but you're not always right. <laughs> so here's me ruining it. So ritual is um, like a massive component of just like life and, mm. um, and even components of it are in biohacking. So mm. waking up, having the same ritual every morning mm. gets you into a flow state for the day. I love this. this you speak Kurt, in my language. I love Kurt's, talking about flow state. I love it. Kurt wants to do it. You got, <laughs> Give me you your need, flow state. You, you need to come back. No, and no, we just, need to do a whole po- podcast on flow state. It's Kurt's Yeah, I, I just, I've just like listened into so many different speeches from Steve Coulter in particular. He, he I've spoke, I spoke about this in the last podcast. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'm sure you've, you've already listened to his perception on how flow state starts and, and how it works. Have I, you? Don't, I don't know the guy, no, but oh, I, okay. I don't know all so about flow state. So he talk an talk extreme sport journalist mm-hmm. and he found that doing all these extreme sports, he was like, why, why is it that these guys, they get injured and then they come back from injury 10 times more powerful than what they were beforehand? And so he just started doing a heap of research into it and this and that. And, and he found that it was flow state because of flow state basically like when they were having that rest period all they're doing is they're thinking about it they're, they're stewing on it they're, they're thinking about when i get back out there i'm gonna i'm gonna achieve that goal whatever it is and when they come back they achieve it amazing yeah do you know the famous study of so back before mm-hmm. i was um i started tropica with blake i was a tennis coach and uh, that taught me a lot about life and um i coached people from five to 55 year olds like beginners to people wanting to become professional and one thing I learned a lot of, a lot about is the mental side of things. And you touched on it then, like there's a famous study. I'm not sure what uh, college or university in the States they did it out of, but they had basketball. Uh, and I hope I don't butcher this 
too much, but they had um, people practicing the, the the free throw, right? Yeah. And it was you had um, one group which practiced it for two weeks, another group that did nothing, and then a third group that all they did was visualize it. And after the two weeks, the group that performed the worst was the one that didn't do anything. The group that performed second best was actually the people that practiced, but the group that performed the best out of all of them were the ones that didn't practice but just did visuals for, mm. that means for two like, weeks. Mm. That's, why, that's why I ticked everything off my goal list because I wrote it down and I manifested it and I fixated on it and I did it. Love it. Yeah. So much truth. Always. Yeah, I, like, yeah. yeah. I agree with that. It's so 100%. cool. One, one of my mates, he, um, I can't remember what book he read, but I remember being back in high school and um, he's like, I, I've read this book and it's how to make a million dollars, right? And he's like, basically what you got to do is you got to write, write down, have it on the wall, look at it every day, visualize. And I was like, shut up. You're an idiot. You're batshit crazy. Like, I don't believe in that whatsoever. Anyway, we left school. Time went on. Like, still best mates with this guy. He's now like second below CEO. I, I can't remember exactly what position he is for, for TLE. Like, he's, he's right up there in a high up company now. And it probably comes down to that 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 one thing that he visualized and he was he just put all his energy into it and and it, that's how he achieved that greatness yeah 100 yeah. percent um <clears throat> i'm a massive believer in it one thing that changed my life around while i was doing all of these nutritional changes and lifestyle changes was i started consuming an absolute ridiculous amount of self-development books mm-hmm. and there was a few in particular that changed my life around I think I've read now over 100 self-development books and they all have the same theme. And what would it, be your, your top two um, for someone wanting to, like yep. me, I need a, I need a book. I need to like get off my phone yep. and like stop researching about Kurt's health issues. I need <laughs> yeah. to develop myself. If yep. I was going to get two books, what would they be? Um, Tony Robbins, oh, Unlim- yeah. Unlimited Power. His original yeah. is incredible. And you'll see that kind of um, what you're just describing there, Kurt, throughout all of it. And then David Schwartz, The Magic of Thinking Big. And I it's, heard of that one. Bo- both of them are the exact same principle. One Maybe thing, you'll read. I I'm won't try- read. I'm I listen to, get- to Tony Robbins' no, do podcast. Book. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mm. I could do audio book too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Life changing. Life changing. You books. said the main theme in these books is. Yeah. It is exactly what Kurt was saying about that guy and something that I practice every single day. I've got on my um, my fridge at home our goals, our Tropeka goals. I've got my personal goals as well on and and the. The mantras and the the values that I live by on my uh, mirror in my bedroom, and I wake up and um, I read them and I live by them and I visualize them and uh, I practice gratitude. Did you write it in text or in your mirror? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that uh, creative. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's only reserved in for lipstick. young women. Yeah. So you actually you actually have it on your mirror. You've got it on your fridge. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's um but I mean we've never what? we've never done anything like that here. Do you know why I don't? Because why? I'm so lucky. This is not me trying to be like mm, cute couple. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm I'm being nice to you, not oh, okay. myself. All right, all right. If I have days where I'm like negative about myself, I'm like I I feel like my vlogs are boring and I I feel like I'm not relevant on YouTube and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Like I go through these random waves. It's kind of like Every time I say that, I know Kurt's going to lift me up. And he says like the same mantra to me saying like, just be yourself. You are helping millions of girls. Like stay true to yourself. You're doing good. He sure. says those same things to me. So good. Mm. And it's like w- at times when I'm weak, I, I say that because I need to hear those words. And I guess if you don't have that person like a Kurt, if you don't have that partner, that's when you need to give yourself self-love. And whether it's write it down or say it to yourself mm. in the mirror, those words that you say to me are so effective and it gets me out of my rut or makes me just feel supported. If you say that to yourself, hopefully it can have the same effect if you don't have that supportive partner or that supportive friend, you know? Mm. 100%. I love that so much. Mm. I mean, if people saw me during the day, they'd call the police on myself. Like, <laughs> I'm an absolute nutcase. Like, I'll go around, like, I carry I carry a lot of weight. Like, uh, you know, I'm in my 20s. I, um, I have a, a multi-million dollar company that is... It's the fastest growing health food company in Australia. He doesn't sleep. He texts me on Sunday night. Yeah. Literally at midnight, you're like, hey man, quick call, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did we, we had a phone call with you guys for an hour the other night. <laughs> it was like 10 p.m. On, on Saturday night. Do you night? realize that? That was, that was my, uh, my we all lunch don't have time a for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't say that. I don't say any of this to, um, to gloat. I say this in terms of 
um, just painting a picture of like the weight that I have to carry each week, which I'm incredibly grateful for. But mm. um, you constantly get doubts. Like I constantly get doubts in my head. And the you know, the way that I figured out the only way to really combat that is like aggressive, positive self-talk. Mm-hmm. I mean aggressive. Like I will walk around the house and like almost yell at myself like <laughs> like, like literally like you are the man <laughs> you are the man <laughs> almost like yeah. but it's like it's just re reaffirming who i am as a person i am a winner i'm an overcomer i have the capacity in every single area to deal with this task mm. i you know I, I i can i will and i must and um it's um it sounds so stupid and no, i thought it was so stupid true. as a young person um, because it, you know what, it is stupid. It's weird, but it works. But you got to say it to yourself and believe it. And you won't believe it until you've said it to yourself a couple thousand times. Yeah. And but um, think about athletes. Like when you see, when you watch the Olympics or like the footy, you can hear them or you can see them like talking to themselves, saying like, oh, no, I don't want to you know, like you can see them moving their mouth and being like, you can do this. You've done. Yeah, you've got like this. Even even the UFC fighters, like I, I, I fought competitively, competitively for for Australia in sports jiu jitsu. That's why I'm always and- nice to you. Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're friends. We're okay. <laughs> um, Keep on believing. But then that. when you, yeah, but then when you look at when you look at that next level, which is you know UFC and those professional fighters again, pay the big bucks. Mm. I, I think I've mentioned this before. I, I, I watched a, uh, a documentary on George Saint Pierre, and he lost his title fight. And did a serious knee injury, and he's he's next day out of out of the fight. He's in hospital getting surgery on his knee, and he's he's laying there, and he's not thinking, "I need to rest, I need to recover." He's thinking, "No, I can't wait to get back out there and get my belt back from this person." Like that that type of mentality, it, it, it's that's, a winner that's mentality. Huge, like yeah, that, that, that can only it's like create boxes. success. That's why I love boxes yeah. because they're so like. Not up themselves, but what are they? They're so like... Confident. Yeah, confident. Mm. They're like, I'm going to boot him. I'm like, whoa, bro. You really... What? I have something. What? Sorry, I cut you off totally. I, I, was, I was just... I was looking on Spotify and I think... You, so I always listen. I always listen to this playlist. It's called Motivational... Um, no, Motivation for Workout and Personal Growth 2. Oh, it's on yeah. Spotify. It go check it out. It turns on his car. Yeah. Like when we go in his car, it's like... You're the man. Like, <laughs> and I'm like listening to Aqua Barbie Girl. I listen like, to it every time I go to the gym. So if you need a, a gym motivational. What's it called? You know, again? It's called Motivation for Workout and Personal Growth 2. Yeah. It's is, epic. Is two better than one? I don't know. But it's, yeah, it must be. It must be better than one. I yeah. don't know. But that's the one that's I always cool. refer to. It's like Tony Robbins is on there. There's all snippets of all these motivational talkers, ET, all, all these people just yeah, yelling in your too. ear, telling you how great you are. So yeah. I think that's you should check that one out. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. Um, so true. Like, as I said, I've read a lot of self-development books and I read a bunch of biographies as well about people because when I was in the rut, I was like, okay, my mindset was people have overcome things a lot greater than what I'm going through at the moment. Mm-hmm. And even though it seems mm-hmm. like absolutely horrible and doc. I had a doctor even say like what you're going through is worse than most cancers. So it was like real bad. And uh, I, I thought, no, I'm going to go study overcomers. And like, it's all the same stuff. If you go and study them, they uh, with, like the, the big winners in life in kind of in how, you know, I hate using the word winner because there's so many, like it's so subjective, but you know what I mean in this mm-hmm. context, um, they all have that mentality. Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Change of pace a little bit. Let's talk about something nice and practical that people can actually... I'm not going to say copy. You should never copy someone. What's wrong with having someone screaming in your ear telling you how good you are? No, no, no. (laughs) But something that uh, people can adapt to their lifestyle. Let's make this short, quick and snappy because you love to talk. I love to talk. I just want the hideout answers. Ready? (laughs) Day on a plate. Talk me through your day on a plate. I know it changes every day. Disclaimers. But just like average it out. Look, um... I don't have dairy, wheat. I have a little bit of wheat here and there, but rarely. Mm-hmm. And uh, sugars, you know, I'm eating whole foods. Refined sugars. Yeah, refined, refined yeah, sugars, yeah. I should say. So like if you want fruit, like go for the low GI fruit um, yep. generally so you don't have like the blood sugar spike and crash. Yep. Um, so you wake up. So, I mean, the big thing I want to say, well, wake up is... Um, I want to go back. Like the big thing hey, is. See, can, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I can't give you straight answers. I want people. Okay, I'm going to give you a one sentence. 
I want people to I go from to this. I tried to set it up. I tried to set it up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I want people to go from this and actually start to feel their bodies and understand, like, take note, like, eat something and then see how does you, how does your body react to that? Yeah. Because I'm going to give you ideas, but, like, everyone's different, yeah. especially if you're unwell or whatnot. You need to, like, the one biggest thing I've learned is, like, Literally, I've seen people improve on every single diet, but also I've seen people feel like crap on every single diet. Yeah. So you need to fight. You need to hashtag listen to your body. And hey. um, <laughs> see, hey, you, Amen. you, you Amen. wouldn't have gotten that if you didn't, <laughs> uh, if I didn't ignore your setup. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's so that's why I said the, the mini disclaimer. I always say I, I don't think there's a, a perfect diet for everyone, mm-hmm. but there's a perfect diet for every one, like specific, like. Uh, I, I butchered that, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what you're saying. <laughs> there's yeah. not one there's perfect, perfect diet, diet that fits the whole world, but there's a perfect diet for you as an individual. That's what I'm trying there to say. Exactly. So, so for, for, I wake up and I don't eat. I intermittent fast, which is amazing, which okay. people should be doing. Um, I, I just told people they shouldn't be doing what I do, but <laughs> hey, just, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> if you want to do it, do yeah, it, do but it. you should be doing it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so look, intermittent fasting is amazing. Like, uh, it helps. You have water? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... I need specifics here. Yeah, so I mean, I'll fast from like 14 to 16 hours and I won't eat till like 12 o'clock. And Is there... I know you said no coffee, uh, no maca powders, no nothing. teas, nothing in nothing. there, just water. I'll have a bit of MCT oil occasionally mm. if I've got like... I hit the ground running working when I start. Like as yeah, soon okay. as I wake up, I'm on my phone in my bed. And then so MCT for like, which is great for your, like your brain to function well. Yeah. I'm curious. We were looking up the the celery juice cleanse last night. Um, Medical I, medium. So yes, yes. Yep. that was who it was. And um, didn't you try that? Yep. yep. I I'm I'm convinced. I'm going to go out and buy a seven hundred dollar juicer and mm-hmm. start doing it. What did you think of that? Because I know that you would have already tried this. Look, I think it's a great thing that you should try. Yeah. Um, but I don't think like okay, this is what fast, uh, it doesn't frustrate me. But this is what. Um, needs to be highlighted so so many people and we even see this with Tropica it's like let me give you this metaphor if you went to the petrol station and filled up your car and you filled up your car with premium 98 fuel I don't know if you international listeners have but 98 fuel is like the best, the best. fuel yeah. I'm assuming it's they've got similar around the world but then you filled half the tank up with diesel and it was a petrol car your car's not going to run and so we get a lot of people that um, thankfully our body's a lot more forgiving, but we get a lot of people that um, try Tropica products, but they're still eating crap. And it's like, you can't yeah. have 98 premium fuel or you can't go and celery juice. And then if your body's reacting- It's like when they when people train hard, but then they like party and drink every night and go yeah. hardcore every week. Exactly. And it's like, your body's not going to change. You can't just out train a bad diet. 100%. And look, there is balance in life, but also oh, totally. there was there was absolutely when I was at my sickest, there was absolutely no room for balance. It was you go a hundred percent at this because your body is in the absolute pit and you need to do everything, everything to yeah. allow it to heal. Um, so if you're coming from that really sick mentality, there's no wiggle room. For a normal person, I believe in balance. Like you might see me on a Saturday night occasionally with my mates having a drink. Like I believe in that. I think it's important as long as you don't go too wild. Yeah, so look, give it a go. But also, um, I know medical medium has a lot, like a lot of success. There's a lot of people on his Instagram praising him. Um, I read the Celery Juice um, book. I would do his protocol and give that a shot. There's so many people out there like dietitians and doctors who want to scrutinize things. It's like, let me... Show me your record of curing someone like yeah. who's chronically sick. If not, move out of the way and allow people to have. They're grown adults. Like, why are you telling? I know. Like, the allow grown story of my allow life. Grown yeah. ad- <laughs> so allow true. grown adults <laughs> to take decisions into their own hands and road test things on their own body. Well, it's even like and it's celery juice at the end of the day. It's not like some pharmaceutical drug that's that who knows where it's come from sort of thing it's not like he's just made up this drug it's celery anyway, juice anyway I could derail but I <laughs> yeah. want to go back to your day on a plate so you yeah. fast until <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 need I need to go back I need to go back I need to go back but look at his whole protocol and maybe do more than just celery juicing in other words yeah, um, yeah. okay so in a minute fasting, <laughs> day on a plate. It's 11 o'clock you've had your MCT oil yeah. you've drank your water it's time yeah. for a meal 
I like to have fats. Um, I like a protein shake as well. So it balances your blood sugar levels. You can have a lean protein. You know. But aren't, don't you want like food food at 11? Yep. I yes. like food first and then I have my shake like later in the day. Don't you like just want like food? Um, I don't tend to care too much about what I want. I just do things for like performance. <sighs> Classic Caleb. Classic Caleb. Sorry. So um, I told you I'm weird. Uh, So like my body performs best with, um, yeah, keeping blood sugar levels pretty pretty stable. So Mm -hmm. uh, I like fats. I like protein. I I love rice and I like veggies and I'm very heavily plant-based as well. So you Um, have like a smoothie with what like? What kind of fats in your smoothie? Oh, I don't even – I do very few smoothies. I just do water and – protein powder in it or i do or i do maca and matcha and acai in rice milk and then what's your fat what do you have um olives avocado yeah really like that um i might even drink some olive oil yeah, I, knew, I knew you were going to say that. Olive oil. I knew you were going to say what? that i knew it just a little bit occasionally <laughs> what, if, what about do you have much flaxseed oil um no but i think it's pretty good for you do you have yeah. cod liver oil I've had that in the past. Yeah, it's I've, brutal. I've even had that. Not yeah, even. I, um, nah. Not even. I do not. It. I do not. I, I got into tell it. Tell anyone help. to do that. That's disgusting. Nah, I didn't. I didn't have levels. a girlfriend during the time. Yeah. <laughs> I had a boyfriend, and I still do. I hated it. It works. Yuck. I did it to help my um, heal my cervix. Yeah. Did it. Yeah. Look. look um, it's if got, it works, it works. But I'm just saying, warning. It sucks to it's, drink. Yeah. Well, you can get, you can get um, nah. capsules of it. They're not as, I, I did the research because I was, good, yeah. this is when I had my cervical dysplasia and I did everything I could because I was like so scared. Mm. Um, and yeah, I, I did shots of cod liver oil and it was disgusting. Yeah, it but was so disgusting. Anyway, it wasn't just that that I did, but so anyway. Got vitamin D in it. Some, um, it's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, so you have your shake and you have your spoonful of olive oil yeah. <laughs> on the, depending this on the day this is the most interesting day to play with my all right a few, that should be as a youtuber a few, god <laughs> what's up guys no i'm just gonna have my olive oil <laughs> <laughs> a few hours later you're a bit peckish what yeah. do you snack on you mean like 20 minutes later i 20 eat minutes so later. once i fast and stop eating like i go hard you go yep um, so That's, yeah, it's good when we go out to dinner. You let me oh, order love everything. It. Love it. Yeah, it's good. Big appetites so here. We gotta have a. We gotta have a next dinner. Hundred right percent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we order so much. We yeah. <laughs> so yeah, two seconds later, what do you eat? Um, you know what? Like it changes a lot. Like I went through a period of like three years. Could have been four. No, it was four years where I'd have the same thing every morning. At this period, I had. I worked up to two avocados. This actually was a chocolate mousse smoothie that I'd create. A um, bit of Dutch cocoa, um, maybe some protein powder with it, depending on when else I'd have it or if I was training or whatever. Um, mixed berries, um, some uh, raw honey, and uh, what else? I mean, back in those days, I'd pop like flax seeds as well in it. Mm. Um, but I'd have that every single day, uh, which would just fill me up for a long time. Yeah. Uh, now I haven't. I go through like waves of changing to one thing to another so at the moment like for a while i was having just because it's so quick i was having like these brown rice puffs with stevia and rice milk and some organic molasses on top Mm -hmm. so uh, molasses is really cool because it's high in minerals um and i should make gingerbread cookies with it yeah yeah that's what i do with we have this black like organic black strap molasses that you have to like pour out of the big canister thing I make us gingerbread cookies. See, you don't even know how blessed you are to live know. with me. I don't know. This is going doesn't on. even know. <laughs> I literally sneak things into a smoothie, give you slippery elm. Like I just clean all the dishes, man. I'm dish boy. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's the payment. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to get a straight answer out of you with this day on a plate. I feel like no. you just no, you just put I'll random wing it. stuff. I wing it. Yeah. yeah whatever. Okay. Well, right. What about this? Do you ever cook anything fancy for yourself? Are you a cook or not? Um, I've been, I just recently, funnily enough, after eight, so Blake was my roommate after eight years, we finally uh, divorced and moved out. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it had to happen. How devastating. I oh, know. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I, um, I cook a lot more these days. So I'll do like a 
Thai curry or whatever. Um, I avoid cool. avoid oils and oily food unless it's olive oil or unless it's olive oil, oil straight from. from <laughs> yeah, <Australia. no. laughs> yeah, I know. The brags. No oils. Organic olive oil. Unless it's straight. Yeah. <laughs> oil straight up. Well, the issue is like vegetable oils oxidize easily, so they're one of the mm. most inflammatory based foods. Like if you do, you cook with avocado oil. I'm more pour it on top, but you can. Yeah. yeah, I have avocado oil. It's just um, expensive, and I can use olive oil. So, mm. Mm. but avocado oil is real cool. So, yeah, I mean, I love Thai curries because I can use. I'm allergic to coconut. One thing that came out of um, uh, these digestive issues. Can you have coconut oil? But, uh, but well, yeah. this is the interesting thing. I can have coconut heated up. I just can't have it cold. So, That's so weird. Well, it's, I think the some of the proteins or whatever it is in it get destroyed, huh. um, which uh, allow me to not have um, issues with coconut. But yeah, I um, I have like I can make the instead of oil an oily dish, I can have like either rice milk, like a combo of rice milk and um, coconut milk in cool. the Thai curry. What else do I cook? Uh, I've got to make a lot of curries. <laughs> <laughs> so you just make curries. Cook. Also, <laughs> also, I need to apologize if you're watching this on YouTube. There is this fly yeah, in my it. house. Yeah. Get it, oh. get it, get it. No. Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need some paper towel. <laughs> well done. Guys, Those I... tennis reflexes are actually coming into action, <laughs> mate. Wait, no, well, look, you can tell it's. Oh, it's actually got blood on it. <laughs> okay, it you guys, you guys. Like... I have been trying to get this fly for three days. Oh. Three days. But there's another one. Anyway, I just wanted to apologize because I know everyone's watching this, being like that fly keeps landing on you yeah. so i'm just um addressing the elephant in the room <laughs> once after um just pull that out on an igtv clip i am yeah, uh, oh, yeah this is going on instagram uh, one of um sorry vegans yeah. <laughs> and you're dodging tennis balls i think i had to i calculated that i could <laughs> when you just said that all i thought of because i was speaking about the the dodge quotes ball. before if you can dodge a ranch you can <laughs> dodge <ball>. sorry <laughs> just <laughs> that's one of the best quotes ever yeah uh, dodgeball <laughs> The yeah, I think I I, I would hit like three hundred thousand tennis balls a year as a coach, and they'd fly what? past me. So doing, I think I did that for seven years. So I've, um, it was one of the, definitely the benefits. I out love of that coaching. you've done that calculation. Oh, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah, time yeah, yeah. I have did you actually calculate that? I out? did. He <laughs> <laughs> just, just said he goes. I uh, did the calculation. <laughs> yeah, but I but, I, did, I thought but he might. Just for everyone, I can just, I feel the comments saying, why is Sarah saying... Kayla's like, why the heck did I come on this podcast? Why am I so weird? <laughs> like when I meet with normal people, I realize how weird I am. No, no, no. So no, 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 no. We're I, weird as well, though. I just want to say, I can I can feel the comments coming right now being like, why is Sarah so mean to him? Because we're on that level. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. for we sure. We can yeah. be like that. Yeah. I, I would, years ago, I would have been like, yeah, that's cool. But now I can be like, you're a freak. <laughs> yeah, I, I, rang, I rang you earlier and you're like, what do you want? I'm like, hey. <laughs> we friends we yeah friends. we good but i was rude to you when i entered the door anyway you had an That's idea true. and i said it sucked yeah <laughs> and he also said the candle smell in here sucks as well oh, what yeah. the heck yeah i just want to be a nice smelling off camera girl. kayla's been ripping into sarah so don't worry rude, rude. okay oh God. she's we like go? my sister kurt's like my brother she's like my sister <laughs> and i'm i'm uh yeah, I, you're like our annoying little brother. Oh, yeah, <laughs> which is an absolute honor. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I I feel like can we play our game? Yeah, let's do you reckon? Do it. Yeah? yeah. Okay, I I have to make a little um announcement or a uh, disclaimer, I guess. Kurt and I wrote these questions. You guys know our favorite game to play at the end of every episode with a guest is shut up and answer my questions. Bitch. Bitch. Now. So for some reason, we accidentally always make up these questions late at night, which a lot of people know is like that weird hour where everything's funny because you're tired, you're like a bit stressed. We had a bad day, so we were like crying, laughing. Oh, so it was some so of these funny questions, at the time. Were, I don't even like. Some of them were so weird. What was the one? That, <laughs> what was the one you wanted to ask? And I was like, No, it'll. Come. Would you rather? No, don't. Would you rather? No. Be pregnant. Oh. Or get a colonoscopy without the drugs. <laughs> don't answer. Don't answer. But he was like crying on the floor. I was like, Tough no. One. So yeah. anyway, anyway, some of these questions are a bit weird. But basically, it's like hot fire questions. 
look at me in the eyes. I'm going to butcher it and take yeah. it. <laughs> you no, are. You no, are. no, you're going to be quick and you're going to do a good job. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Someone's going to get pissed off. There's always that person that gets pissed off at the comments where. Ah, well, it's part of life. It takes get over so it. Long. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, just embrace it. Enjoy it. Okay. So, this has been a very like intense podcast of jumping back and forth between different topics and things. I want to know your top five biohacking tips because I feel like we haven't actually gone through them in an actual order. So, let's, let's, let's hit that now. All right. I'm going to go quick on this one. Yeah. Go quick. <laughs> it looks Boom. at me. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, uh, reclaim like. Uh, your ownership over your health, especially with nutrition. So figure out, like, take note of how you feel after you eat something and journal it, write it down, figure out what you react to. Even go on an elimination diet if you're not feeling the best and start to research foods that really can help you. Um, Number two is sleep. Like, get your sleep in order from blue blocking light to um, not having, like, screen time uh, before bed, not... Do you do that? Do you not look at your phone? Oh, no, I go hard, but um, but I have different ways to accommodate that. So, okay. for instance, I take off the orange light. Yeah. Um, okay, to be honest, I, I shouldn't even say I do. I work late into the night and then I'll have I'll go out for a walk um, in the middle of the night, even at like midnight. What? And that's my version of meditating and I'll just be completely in the present moment. Are you scared? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I would be scared. I can't even go down to the bins. Uh, <laughs> in downtown chronology that's dangerous <laughs> no i'm scared of the boogeyman down there <laughs> yeah and no, i love it because no one's around so i can really um i can just be in the present moment i can look at a tree and just be so like unbelievably grateful for like a tree like reality like Aww. we we over we don't value the little things enough in life i do that at the beach sometimes mm. i just like it sounds so weird and hippie but on a beautiful day when there's like no one there especially when you're mm. kind of alone mm-hmm. like there's this track around cronulla that i found randomly because abby like ran into there and, and found it and i went into this track and there's no one there and i nearly started crying because i was like it's so beautiful <laughs> could be because i've i've like i've been pregnant i'm very hormonal i like very emotional now but yeah like when you're alone at the snow, don't you think when you get on a peak at the snow, when there's no one there, it's like really emotional. Oh yeah, it's a it's, special moment. Thank you. Yeah. I, I thought it was gonna pay me out. No, no, I no, no, no. I'm all about that. Snowboarding, yeah. surfing, being out in the ocean, yeah. just embracing it. Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's a special thing, and everyone should do it. Yeah, yeah. So, to whatever capacity gra- they could. Gra- like gratitude for the environment. Yeah, hundred percent. We're so disconnected from nature. Um, so I tr- back on point two, I track my sleep with an aura ring, O-U-R-A uh, oh, ring. Oh, yes, you've told me about this. Yeah, and it tells... There's so many things I could ask you. <laughs> it tells you, like, uh, how many times you've woken up during the night, which then you can take back to point one and see, okay, did I eat too close to bed? Did I eat the wrong foods? What was the reason why I woke up so many, dur- so many times during the night? Why didn't I get tracks how much REM sleep, how much deep sleep you had? Mm-hmm. That's getting um, real deep into your health right there. Yeah, exactly. So you can kind of- You need of- to come and live with us and fix Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then I also use like Sonic Sleep app, which it, there's a lot of apps which creates white noise during the sleep. Also- there's like, this is getting real hippie, but there's like a certain sound it's got on it, like 432 hertz or something. No, no, we know it because um, Fox, when when you get a newborn, you put certain white noises on that mimic the womb. Okay, So cool. we know all about that. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And there's, Newborns oops. love it. You put white noise on and they go, they love it. And so when he, like for 12 weeks, when, the, when your baby sleeps in your room, we slept with white noise. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. I loved it. Was it. Great. I need to go it's back cool. to that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so I do that. And then I have a certain like noise that I listen to, which is a certain hertz or whatever, 432 or something that's on that app that like uplifts your spirit before bed and makes you more grateful and all that. Gee, I sound like a weirdo. No, I, I think <laughs> it's cool. I think it's cool. And then I, yeah, I go to sleep with that, that app. Um, okay number uh, three number three get it back into nature and um and appreciation and gratitude and oh i thought you were gonna say ground remember you told me that time yeah one time i was really stressed or something and caleb literally called me and was like you need to take your shoes off and go for a walk i was like amen (laughs) (laughs) yeah just get on the sand at the beach that's um something i'm a little bit jealous of you guys living down here in cronulla uh number four I'm going to get annoyed because I'm going to go home later and be like, why did I not say a much more important one? No, it's okay. This is uh, like, like you can always come back. Yeah. I, I could pick your brain for ages. Uh, number four is exercise. Exercise is massive. Mm. Uh, 
and exercising properly. Like I love, I'm, I was a long distance runner. I love going for like a 10K run, like and absolutely thrashing myself. Uh, Do you listen to music? Well, yeah, that's what I love as well. But then I feel sore on my joints the next couple of days. So like being a bit more smart, like a bit more intelligent around those things. So instead of doing that, like I bike now instead and yeah. it's easy on as my you joints. get older you can feel like running hurts right oh, yeah. when you're younger you just run forever well, just like, it doesn't in, matter in high intensity you, you you just can't handle it as much Fully. anymore um it's funny you said that my, my old martial arts instructor he, he used to say to me i wish there was a crossfit for 40 plus year olds that wasn't as intense and throwing things around all the time. Anyway, we'll throw each Pilates. other around in them. It's called Pilates. <laughs> it's called reformer Pilates. People get them, get around it. But yeah, as you get older, yeah, you do, you do kind of. You need to sort of, oh, and I'm starting to realize this more recently because I'm a Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, a hundred percent. Go, go, go. You know, I, I want to absolutely flog myself where I can't even breathe on the floor. But the reality is, it's actually doing me more damage than it's doing me good. So he yeah. did a yoga flow the other day. He like yeah. got it up on YouTube and he was like, <sighs> and he felt so good. I'm after. doing everything. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, mate. Yeah. 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 So for me, like, it's like, I'm not looking to be like, um, like huge muscles and all that. I, I want to, I'm a tennis player. I want to look like Roger Federer or Novak Djokovic. And you want to feel good and thin. fit. Yeah. So I do. Really <laughs> I want to be thin. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a model. Exactly. <laughs> like, look at these legs. They're just designed for like, <laughs> Paris runways. <laughs> you are, Caleb is uh, very tall. I will say yeah. that. You're yeah. very tall. <laughs> and, um, so I use resistance bands. I love HIIT, like high intensity, high intensity interval training. Mm-hmm. So exercise. Boxing? Like, Are you still doing boxing or no? Because your tennis hand. Yeah, I, I got to. I, I want to not sprain joints and all that. But we should do a boxing session soon, mm-hmm. like just as a one-off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, we did one last time I was here, and um, it was loved fun. it. Yeah, we brought it, didn't we? Yeah, yeah and, and I was I was postpartum, so awesome I was job. I would <laughs> smoke you now. Yourself. You're quitting so, yourself. You Talk have, over here yeah. in the pink. Me, you, you have the long arms, but I got the speed. <laughs> <laughs> I can like, I can like dip under and like dodge. Like a little ninja. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay. Um, you do go hard. Yeah, I, I remember right. watching you and um, yeah, Kurt, um, Kurt coaching us. It was a lot of fun. Mm. Uh, Number so, five. So yeah, um, hit on exercise. There's so many benefits of hit. Number five is learn how to deal with stress in ways that are appropriate for your situation. So for instance, when I was really sick, I couldn't like work the amount I work and train as hard as I can. So you gotta understand your life situation and make the right decisions and um, and then bring in the resources that will help you overcome. Like, I think I need help with that. Like. When I get stressed, I project it onto Kurt and he can tell and he like comes up to me and does this thing that I (laughs) got taught at uni. Like for children who struggle to focus in school, you put like a weight vest on them or you can go and put your like your hands on their shoulders and just like ground them a little bit. So now I know know what you're doing, (laughs) but I'm like, Kurt, this isn't working. He's like, oh, I'm like, don't touch my shoulder. Yeah, she gives so what's, someone like me, what would, if I'm stressed and I'm on the computer and I have so many emails and so many people calling me and so many deadlines, what's something that I could implement to help manage my stress? Because I can't not do these things, but how do I get it done and not feel like that bad level of stress? You get okay. someone else to help you. Yeah, exactly. First, um, get a PA <clears throat> and a good PA who can sort out your, your, um, your workload. But the big thing, I got heaps like work in 50 minute sprints Hmm. so focus and then allow yourself distraction allow your mind distraction um but don't do do that yep so uh, i uh, if i only do 50 minutes it's good like oftentimes i might go longer but um a four minute distraction or a five minute distraction after 50 minutes is really really good um get on TikTok, get on Instagram. But you the, love TikTok. The issue. <laughs> All the time. He Guilty. Messages, he, messages, he, he messages me saying, you and Fox would kill it on TikTok. Oh, get on TikTok. You'd honestly, you'd have 4 million followers if you and Fox did, uh, uh, I did just, TikTok. I'm busy, man. I'm, I'm stressed. No, you're not. I'm, stressed. I'm not busy. <clears throat> No, I mean you are, but you can get on TikTok. You'll I'm be right. Busy. I think you're saying. I think you're saying you're not a busy man because uh, you said a busy man. I uh, think you're a busy oh man. Oh no, no. <laughs> like as I'm busy, man. I'm okay, busy. gotcha. Yeah. yeah um, meditate. Um, get outside. Get into nature. Be kind to yourself. Uh, again, ag- aggressive. 
positive self positive positive self talk um understand who your identity is understand that like, comes with age hey like we do so many podcasts on that about people in like high school or uni and not feeling like you have two sides of you like mm. that's the worst feeling mm. i feel like when you get older you realize not what side of you um you should embrace but like how to mesh the two together and it's the one personality you know i feel like we should yeah. do a podcast on that about finding yourself and how we found ourselves because i feel like i Anyway, I'm going on a tangent. Sorry. 100%. Um, back on meditation too. Like I know that it's a, it's a very funny, it's a funny thing for a lot of people. And we've done a podcast on it with Rochelle Fox, which is really interesting. So you can go back and listen to that if you want to hear about meditation. But my acupuncturist, Liz, who we also have done a podcast with, um, she said that she's done a little bit of research into meditation recently. And she's found from what she's found is that surfing for males mm. can be just as effective as having a you know a 10 minute meditation or half hour meditation session going out in the ocean just being present because your mind and your focus is just on that task ahead you're out there you're you're within you know whatever it is magnesium like yeah. you're just absorbing the most magnesium, magnesium rich place on earth um 100%. there's a group of guys who, who have ptsd and they go out and surf and all of them have said that their mental health is like completely cured Amazing. from just going for a surf like, plus plus you're getting um vitamin d which is incredibly yeah. like people are too scared of the sun like yeah. you need sensible sun exposure when yeah. you go out and get 20 minutes of sun during the middle of the day where With your body can no ab- sun cream on exactly <laughs> where your body can absorb um vitamin d which yeah. is like the most critical vitamin for your brain health and yeah. your mental health um the other one i want to add to that as well with dealing with stress is actually to stress yourself more and that sounds a little bit weird but this is what i mean so every day well not every day but a lot of days i get into a cold shower and i learned this like off tony robbins and a lot of high performance people (laughs) where um where i do that to put a stress on my body or you can do it through sauna or you can do Mm. it through exercise where your ability to put your body under stress, like there's a thing called heat shock proteins, which your body produces under stress, which allows you to deal with future stress even uh, even easier. It's the, how your immune system works, like your adaptive acquired immune system where you get a stress from a pathogen and your body learns to deal with it through antibodies and whatnot. It's a similar concept, right? Um, but that's what happens with your body. Your body learns to adapt to stress. So, But you can't overstress. You need to learn how to stress the body just enough for progressive overload, which is what you have in exercise. And it <clears throat> applies for also getting in, um, getting in a cold shower. I had a cold shower yesterday um, in the middle of winter. Yeah, Kurt, I can hear Kurt being like, oh, 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 and he's yeah. doing a cold shower. Yeah. It's, I'm assuming you've, you've done the Wim Hof method. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And uh, his, his story is amazing, right? Mm. And putting your body under more stresses and knowing that you can overcome that is so important. And uh, can't be can't be uh, can't be overstated. Mm. Mm. What a juicy podcast! Like I said, mm. I could literally pick your brain about everything. It was very back and forth, but like I couldn't pick a one topic. Like I knew this was going to be back and forth, and I hope that everyone took something from it. But before we go, I want to play our classic game. <laughs> Shut back. up and answer my questions. Bitch. bitch. <laughs> All right. So these, you just have to answer like basically your answer or what one you'd prefer. You'll get it. It's okay. quick. Okay. Quick game. Five minutes. Are we going to do one? <laughs> Five minutes. Oh, okay. we- <laughs> time. <laughs> no, yeah, time no, two cap. minutes. <laughs> phone phone call seconds. time cap. No. Okay. Are we going to do one for one? Yeah. Should I do the first one? Sure. Would you rather... <clears throat> Sorry, I've got to clear my throat. Would you rather self-isolate for the next two years... Or eat cheeseburgers for the next 10. Self-isolate. <laughs> I knew you would say that. What, I knew you would say that. I'm, I'm a social person. Just, I want to be eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> Drink only spirulina shots for a week or every day for a week you walk into the office and realize again you forgot to put on pants. Well... <laughs> I would have the authorities after me if I did the second one. So <laughs> def- the authorities aren't coming. Really? Police aren't coming after me, and my employees aren't thinking I'm a creepo by uh, oh, by sorry. drinking spirulina. So um, actually, they probably think I'm a bit of a weirdo having so much spirulina, but I'm used to You'd it. Love yeah, it. thinking back to that, it's not really a fair question, is no, it? <laughs> like I said, we were really tired, and we thought it was. All weird. right. If you had a magic power, what would you choose? This is meant to be quick, man. Okay, to know <laughs> to know the answer to everything. Ooh. Hey, don't you already have that magic power? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 unfortunately not. <laughs> Dream place to live. Uh, 
in a home of love. <laughs> <laughs> what a kiss ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be uh, letting myself out. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to let that one yeah, slide. Yeah, no, we're going to keep going. Go. Um, if you were to live off one food, what would it be? And it doesn't have to be health related. It can be just whatever you crave. What do you, want? you know what I mean? Sorry, I'm still hating myself. From yeah, that's all right. That's fair. <laughs> um, what? Bring those positive thoughts back for this one. What, um, Aggressive, positive self talk. Yeah. <laughs> what, um, what was the question? Uh, one food? One food, what would it be? It doesn't have to be healthy. Like, just like, just what whatever. do you love and you could live off it? I don't know. Uh, sorry, that's really bad. That's really bad. What is this? Well, okay. okay, so for you instance, suck. so can, suck at this game. I'm so dark. I'm, so dark. Um, um, I'm I, too much of a thinker. I no. don't know. <laughs> I'm too much such, of a thinker. Such suspense is such a disappointing answer. Like for instance, this is how I just thought. I thought, okay, a really because I love unhealthy food. I just yeah. don't eat it because of the effects on my body. So if I could have an, if I could eat like. An, an unhealthy, All right, I'll make it easy for you. organic, me, like meaty Ooh. burger that didn't have an effect yeah, on yes, the world yes. or whatever. It's, it's it's like there's no effect on the environment or you. No, it's just it's just your taste buds. If, just you, your if, taste you, buds. if you eat a hamburger, you just eat a hamburger. Like, you know what I mean? Whatever you crave. Okay, yeah, like yeah. Um, a kebab. A oh, kebab. okay. Mm. Like right. a beef kebab? No, yeah. honestly, I hate, I hate my... Last time I had a kebab was so long ago and I hated myself All right, we shouldn't have so put I a food question, question this question. <laughs> I overthink this stuff. I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. He as reminds well. me of my older sister so much. I feel like this might okay. be too hard for you. But. All right, this might be too hard because I feel like you need preparation for this question. Okay. But what is one of your most embarrassing moments? Whether you were like 10 or now, is there something that's been like really embarrassing to you? Oh God, I suppress all my embarrassing moments <laughs> and I also don't get embarrassed. That's what um, I mean. Like you're pretty confident. I was, um, oh, I, oh, I had like a lot of bad OCD, like borderline, like Tourette's when I was a young kid, like not being able to control myself. So I think back to like some of those things and like, uh, effects on my body and whatnot mm. and um i suppose i took a lot of embarrassment from that but um that's like that's like sinister i don't know that's like deep <laughs> yeah it's like deep yeah, that's, that's yeah. like childhood trauma this is okay. meant to be yeah. fun and lighthearted. let's yeah, bring it back sorry. again next question <laughs> <laughs> i don't have embarrassing moments like, yeah no nah, that's a tough one what is your go-to dessert Butchering again. Think, think, think. <laughs> Probably, I really love that chocolate mousse okay. that I used to make. Yeah, Ooh. cool. Really nice. I have a very similar recipe that I use for icing on my cakes, like a chocolate avocado icing. So good. Yeah, nice. Cho uh, so when you say chocolate mousse, is that the one you have right now? Like was, you can actually was, have this now? Yeah, or? yeah. That was the avocados, Dutch cocoa, or cacao, um, mix frozen mixed berries and uh, you can do like stevia or raw honey or whatever you want. I made it. Why don't, why don't I ever do that every I've, night? Why don't I've, I do that? I've made it for him. Anyway. He doesn't even know. Anyway. I've Healthy. Made it for him. You have. You have. She has made it for me. I know what you're it's talking amazing. about. This last one, we were in a really weird mood when we got this question. We thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Reading it now in a normal state of mind, I'm like, what the heck? What but you know what thinking? I mean? Like when you're overtired, you're like, everything's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're in an elevator. There's a bit of a story behind this. You're in an elevator. Would you rather fart loudly and everyone laughs at you or be the only one laughing obnoxiously when someone else has farted? Second one. So you'd rather be the only one... What does that say about myself? No, I would rather, be, I'd rather be the one laughing at you than the other way around, 100%. Yeah. Oh, Lord. we were. I was anyway. crying. We were crying with laughter on that. <laughs> we thought that night. was funny. It wasn't, wasn't that so funny. funny. I just, if I had the first one, I'd be like, oh, sorry, too much prebiotics. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but act confident, a normal question, you right? Exactly. exactly. Well, Caleb, thank you so much yeah, for thanks, coming on the mate. podcast again. For listeners, I'm really sorry if this was like all over the place, but like that's that. This is a true depiction of our phone calls. Yeah. You know, like going and our back podcast. And let's be honest. And our podcast. <laughs> yeah. That's so so true. But we hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, whether you're watching here on YouTube or listening on Spotify or the podcast app. You can also find us on Instagram. We are the.healthcode. Yep. I'm Sarah's underscore day on Instagram or Sarah's day on YouTube. And I'm KJ Tills on Instagram and YouTube. And Caleb, this is the time to plug yourself. Uh, Tropeka.com, <laughs> T-R-O-P-E-A-K-A. If you're wondering the name, 
combination of tropical and peak performance. It's not Tropiaca, oh. Tropica. Uh. When, when I first, I when I first ever got the Tropica proteins, like it was when I was like. What a 2016 vlog, mm. and I was living at my parents' house, and I was like, "Guys, I'm trying this new protein. It's from Tropiaca." And then they literally emailed me. They're like, "Hey, we saw you're using our protein. You're saying the name wrong, but it's totally fine." I was like, "Ah, oh, <laughs> literally, everyone gets it wrong." <laughs> um, Tropica, we ship worldwide. Customers all around the world. Uh, Instagram, all over everything on social media. We've also got our own podcast that I'm on. Um, if you want me to talk, hear me talking more rubbish, um, hashtag who this podcast is a whole lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> I was on their first episode. It was really good. It was a great episode. Yeah. You guys have fun games on yours. That's all we need to do. We need to copy them. Get fun games. All oh, right. we just did a fun game. That was a fun yeah, game, yeah, except fun I game. ruined it like usual. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> classic. The fun spot. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for listening. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next podcast. See you guys. Bye. Thanks.